News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Brownsville police are still looking for 15-year-old Grecia Velez. She's been missing for a little more than a month now. Her parents say that she told them that she was going to a stripe store on 14th and Lincoln Street, but she never came back. If you know anything, call Brownsville police. Sherilyn ISD has named Elizabeth Gongoria as the new interim principal for Shimasu Elementary. She's taken over for Anthony Limon. He was reassigned to a different position within the district. Sherilyn ISD released a statement overnight saying that Gongoria has nearly 30 years of experience in public education. She begins her new role effective immediately. The city of McAllen has lifted the stage two water restrictions. The restrictions were first put in place this past summer. That's because our reservoirs reached critically low levels. But the city says recent rain that we got has helped increase the supply. Even though the restriction is lifted, the city says you should still try and be mindful of how much water you use. The sun will finally be out today. We'll begin to slowly to warm up. Highs will be in the upper 50s and low 60s. We get warmer into the weekend. That's your News in 60. Have a happy Friday. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.